Good morning, Hank. It's Thursday. Hank, I can't talk to you with both my mouth and my hair, so I'm gonna talk to you with my hair. Hank, as you can no doubt see, the puff continues to grow. Hank, I'd like to thank the Yeti for her enduring support of my hair, although I have to tell you, I think I'm beginning to lose the will. Enjoy the puff now, because the next time I see you, I think it's gonna be gone. In other news, Hank, I really wanna do a Question Tuesday on Tuesday, but I don't really have anything else I wanna talk about today, so instead I'm gonna include some outtakes from last week's Question Tuesday. Nerdfighters, in the next Question Tuesday, I'm going to try to break the world record for most questions answered in a four minute period, but I need your help. Leave your questions in the comments, and if I don't answer them on the video, I'll try to answer them in a gigantic blog post at the Ning. And now, the outtakes. Take it away, me from two weeks ago. Corndog meets mint chocolate chip ice cream in a dark alley. Who wins? Oh, I'll tell you who wins. Everybody. You fry up a corn dog, you stick it in some semi-melted mint chocolate chip ice cream, and you've got the greatest innovation in deliciousness since the deep fried Twinkie. What's your favorite graphic novel of all time? There's a lot of great ones, but I'm gonna go with Mouse by Art Spiegelman. If you were going on a long trip to the Evil Baby Orphanage and could only take two CDs with you, which would they be? A Love Supreme by John Coltrane and something by the Mountain Goats. Although honestly, it wouldn't matter since Evil Baby Stalin is probably just gonna steal my CDs. You get to have a one hour conversation with a Disney character. Who would it be? Probably Mickey. I'd like to ask him how it feels to be single-handedly responsible for the death of reasonable American copyright law. What's the most interesting nickname you've ever had? One time in high school I made the mistake of saying that Christian Slater had never made a bad movie, and for a long time after that, people called me Cuffs. Why do you think that all the most viewed Vlogbrothers videos are by Hank? I don't know. Probably because he's funnier? Although in one case it seems to be almost entirely because the screenshot is of two giraffes having sex. I don't know what that says about the YouTube community. I guess it just says that we're people who love giraffes who love giraffes. If you had to pick one pattern to have all your clothes made out of, what would it be? Definitely Argyle. Honestly, I don't even understand the point of wearing socks unless they're Argyles. What's the most embarrassing song you know all the lyrics to? When I'm not with you, I, I lose my mind. Just give me a sign. Hit me, baby. One more time. If you had to vote for a Republican presidential candidate, who would it be? Definitely Abraham Lincoln. Oh, wait, do you mean like a living Republican presidential candidate? Well, first off, I don't vote for the party, I vote for the individual. And second off, I don't want to vote for any of those guys. Why won't you let Maureen Johnson, who has read your new book, Paper Towns, talk about Paper Towns? The same reason I won't let Hank talk about Paper Towns. It's secret. A plane crashed and every single person on board was killed, but there were still survivors. How is that possible? Every single person on board was killed, but many married people survived. Just one of the many benefits. Oh, hey, Riddle, I've got one for you. What's the only word in the English language that starts with PW? The Iliad or the Odyssey? The Odyssey. Has Helen Hunt seen the Helen Hunt song yet? No, keep fighting. How old is the Yeti? 28. Will we ever get to see the Yeti? I don't know, maybe, if you have a lot of money and can afford to go on long expeditions to Nepal. Which one of the presidential candidates would you most want to play Twister with? Hmm, that's tough. I guess Mike Huckabee, because, you know, he doesn't look very flexible, and so I think I'd have an advantage. I would want to play Twister with Ron Paul, but the the problem with that is that Ron Paul's version of Twister only has yellow dots because Ron Paul felt that it would offer more freedom of choice and also be less expensive if the game eliminated the red dots, the blue dots, and the green dots, and also the spinner. And now, Hank, I will be attacked by Ron Paul's minions. Don't hate me, guys. It was just a Twister joke. Nerdfighters, as always, thanks for your questions. Puff levels? I'm gonna miss you, buddy.